the Halloween season is upon us. And I've always loved the Halloween season because I've always been such a huge fan of horror. <laughs> Go murder! I love the scary movies. I love the costumes. I love the spooky decor. Oh, it's a child. <laughs> I thought like a gremlin was screaming. I was like, what, have I, what did I summon? <laughs> I just love the whole spooky, scary, horror, Halloween theme, and I always have. So to get festive for the season, I thought it'd be cool if we made a little electric jack-o'-lantern. But that's so basic and overdone, right? Right! So let's spice it up a little by making it more unusual. Here's a doodle I dooted the other day, and I think it'd be kind of cool if we made our jack-o'-lantern look something kind of like this. And so after a few hours on CAD and then 3D printing, I ended up with these. So now to assemble them. First, I'm going to take this bottom frame and screw four threaded posts into it. Like this. We can then take some super glue and glue the sides onto the frame. Each of the side pieces have a channel cut into the bottom of them that the frame fits into. Perfect. Now before we finish the assembly, we need to line the inside with paper so that the pumpkin will glow. To do this, I'm going to take a piece of printer paper and cut a 41mm tall strip out of it. I'll then make four marks, one every 49 millimeters, and fold on those marks. We can cut off the excess. And then we'll just mark a 5 millimeter tall, 24 millimeter wide rectangle at the bottom of each crease and cut them out using scissors. We can tape the ends of the paper together so it's just one solid piece and then slide it into the center of the pumpkin. And we don't want to leave the top piece out so we'll go ahead and tape a piece of paper onto the inside of that as well. And with that we can now glue the main frame onto the top of the pumpkin. With that complete we can set it aside and focus on the base plate and electronics. Namely a flickering LED, battery connector, power switch, and a few wires. As some of these parts, namely the LED, you can find in any cheap dollar store electric candle. So first I'm going to take our power switch and solder two leads onto it. I'll then solder our LED to one of those leads and another wire to the other LED lead. We can then insert our switch into the base plate and drop in these little tiny blocks to hold it in place, making sure to glue them down once they're in. After that, we'll solder our battery connector onto the two remaining leads, making sure to match up positive and negative, and then glue the connector to the base plate. Once we've pushed all the wires down and are happy with their placement, we can then go ahead and drown everything in hot glue. Now the LED is somewhat focused, kind of like a flashlight. So I'm going to glue this little cap I got from an electric candle onto it to help make it a little less focused. And with that, it's looking pretty good. With all that done, all that's left to do is to insert the battery and screw the base plate onto the pumpkin. And with that, the pumpkin is finished. And of course, since these are 3D printed, you can print them in any color you want. a little hesitant to go into this I was scared they're going to turn out to be rather lame but luckily I don't think they did I actually think they're kind of cool 
I really like their small compact size. I have a Halloween themed movie night party coming up pretty soon and I think these will be perfect for that. They'll help illuminate some of the dark corners of my apartment. But what do you guys think? Do you like them? Are they cool or not so much? Let me know. But hey, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you did, please feel free to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. But if you didn't like it, please feel free to hit the thumbs down. And I'll find you. But hey, Lord going, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. And please feel free to subscribe.